let's jump right into the first thing which is the snyder cut is a go so came out last week that basically it is officially officially out there that uh warner brothers is uh putting up money to get the snyder cut done now there's no true details on whether, you know, actors are going to be called in again because there's a lot of stuff that goes along with that. But I'm going to get into that. But basically, the whole gist of it is, is that it was uh, greenlit, that it is going to be on HBO Max in what capacity. We don't know if it's going to be a four to six part, you know, um, like mini series, limited series, or is it going to be put out as a movie? Because as it stands, this movie is nearly four hours long nearly four hours long so either way i would be okay with whatever capacity they want to put it on the uh on the streaming service and i definitely would get at least i would at least get it for the time frame that they have it on there but i think it if it's four hours let's say roughly like at the most four hours i think it will probably serve better as a limited series Man, they don't have to cut it down to 30 minutes or whatever. I mean, we've already basically seen this movie. It's just, it had a lot of changes. And Zack Snyder came out and said that, you know, we've only seen, what, like one-fourth of what he was sh what he shot. So, basically, there is a lot more to this movie that we haven't seen. We've seen he's been giving out steals and stuff like that throughout the years, ever since it was put out. But we still haven't seen all of his creation. So I feel like it would be better served as a limited series, like a four part limited series and all that stuff. That way it would probably be better because I mean, even though I myself and probably a lot of other people would, you know, wouldn't care about sitting down watching a three and a half to four hour movie, especially something that, you know, we've been wanting to see for a while now. It's kind of like, I don't know, like <laughs> it's like yeah if they broke it into two parts i could see that but you know i don't know i think that's why i said it would be better served as a limited series as a mini series where you break it into like three to four parts and just give it out that way not give it all out at one time i feel like they should do a weekly thing for like a whole month or something like that just put it out every like friday you know the snyder cut episode one and all that stuff they did the same thing well quentin quentin tarantino did the same thing for the hateful eight when it got put on netflix so i feel like if he uh if they did that for this movie then it will probably be just as good and um as far as like i said we don't know yet if henry cavill or uh gal gadot or ben affleck even are going to come back in their roles to maybe shoot Maybe have like even like a few reshoots or, you know, just come back and uh, redo things on camera. Um, we do know that they may end up coming back. It's more likely they may end up coming back, maybe re-recording some dialogue or adding some new dialogue or something like that to the film. Which more than likely may end up having them back on the on-screen role, uh, donning the uh, whole costumes and stuff like that. But as far as that, it's not entirely sure. It's not entirely sure because that is, that has, that's a whole nother monster. 20 to 30 million that's being put into it to make this a dream come true. Most say that it even isn't enough. That they're going to need at least 50 million to complete the, even just, if you don't bring Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill, anybody back on set. You're going to need at the minimum 50 million to complete this. That is going to have to be, you know, between 50 to maybe 80 million to actually get it looking crazy good. And uh, bringing back the characters or, you know, bringing back the actors may add a little bit more money. May end up putting maybe 100 mil more to the film that they probably didn't really think about you know wanting to do when they initially greenlit it like is this really a endeavor that we want to put this much money in so that's the question that comes out but i either way i feel like if they're gonna do it do it right because we don't want well i i, I could speak for myself i really don't want to see a uh justice league movie a movie that i have been really curious on seeing 
because I did enjoy Justice League, the just theatrical version that we got from, you know, that we got already. But I felt like it could have been way better. And I'm very, very, very curious on seeing what Zack Snyder initial vision was and what it what it is going to be. But I don't want to see that vision with the visual effects that you will see on Flash or Arrow on the CW. Something that you will see on network TV that only has a certain standard of CG and, you know, visual effects that they can do because they're only working with, they're working with a smaller budget. I don't want to see a better Justice League movie that possibly could be better than the one that we got with lower effects that look way cheaper than the one that we actually got. And the one that we actually got didn't, some of the effects, yeah, were kind of off, you know, could have been done better and all that stuff. So I don't want to see a Justice League movie that could possibly be better and look better visually with better visual effects, you know, not really given all the love and attention that it needs to be given because that's what got us in this mess in the first place. So when it comes down to it, I'm very excited for this, but I really want them to do it right. I honestly think uh, if they don't need, you know, Henry Cavill or um, Ben Affleck coming in or anybody from the cast coming in to do reshoots or anything like that, say at the most, maybe just lines of dialogue said or whatever, that's cool. But if they don't need that and they can, what they work with is good enough and they can put great visual effects to it, a great sound design to it, great score and just make it do, just do it all out and make it just incredible, I'm down with it. But if they are going to do the bare minimum or not give it as much love, like I said, I don't know, like I'm, I'll be less enthused on it coming out but very curious regardless but i am excited i am excited i'm not one of those people that was just hashtag snyder, snyder cut all the time you know it was just but I, I was very curious on what could have been had the circumstances not arise when it did and the decisions that were made to put it out as early as it was wasn't made and they could have like took a little bit more time but when it comes down to it this is something that everybody was everybody is waiting for so hopefully they do it right that's all i hope for hopefully that they do it right